So welcome back everyone. So so it's for us to create our folders. So I've got, already got a folder structure that I propose. So we're going to do. So for you to add a, pro, um, a folder, you just go into your um, project. And bear in mind, it's project, not solution. So I've already put a caveat there, not the solution, because if you right click on the solution, you get a different context. So uh, you need to right click on the project. So the, your solution is the one that will say solution. Your project doesn't say project, but that, so that's way to actually know it, to say my solution has got a solution. My project is the one that's got the name I used to create my test when I started. So and just right click on your project and then you click on add, you click on, um, on new folder. Let's do that quickly and I'll show you what I mean that you, when you right click on your solution. When you right click on your solution, you will see add and you see new folder, new solution folder. That is not what we are looking for. So that's why I said don't right click on your solution. Right click on your project. You right click on your project. It's very, very important. So uh, when you right click on your project, you would click on add and you can see new folder. So you need to know that you have new folder. So and that should have folder for you. So the first folder that we're going to create will be features folder. So I've already proposed different um, folder structure that we're going to create. So you're going to have your features that this one will store all your spec load feature files. And you have your hooks basically, which is going to store all your before and after scenarios. Uh, like I said last week, this is very, very important. I know some people, uh, some tester will create that this particular UX and they put it into utility. For newbies, it's good to get it separated because your UX are going to be firing before your step, uh, your scenario fires. So it's good to know where they are stored. If you have uh, like a big um, test framework, and you need to know where your UX are stored. Otherwise, they just will be firing and you may not know which one. So it's also a good practice to put them in, in, in a folder. And you can have many hooks, basically. It's not going to be only one class. You, so it's also good, okay to put them in a folder. So, and then also you have your page object, which is make your code neat and tidy, easy to maintain, and also easy to reuse. And so you have your elements stored in your page objects. And then your steps are going to be stored in the step definitions. And if you have any test data that you need to use or, or any output folder that you need, you need to use or output files, you put them in your test data. And any common components or common classes or anything that you think, oh, okay, it's kind of like an errand boy that you need to use or any classes that are common to other classes, other um, step definitions that you need to call, you put them on your utility folder just to help you. And you can be calling them from your step definition. So this is the proposed you know, architecture that I'm going to propose to you. So you let's go into our project now. So the first, the second one is let's say is going to be the oops. So then I'm going to. Now add another one and say, say utilities. utilities. So I'm going to add the next one. This is set definition. So I'm going to add my test data folder. Okay, so now we got this 
six folders according to what I have proposed. As you can see, I didn't actually create them in this in this order, but they are at the end being ordered alphabetically, so it is it's okay like that. So and that is the folder structure that I propose.